Hey gamers, this is John, host of Video Games in the World, and welcome to the final part of Super Return of the Jedi. So now, we are in the tower entrance where we will fight against Darth Vader. And here's one of the Imperial Guards. Annoying, I know, but they're not hard to kill. Okay, there you go. Let's see. Heal? Okay. Here we go. And now, ladies and gentlemen, behind those doors is the one and only Darth Vader. But unlike the last time, he's gotten a little bit easier. Because Luke is now a full-fledged Jedi. We shall see also... Now, we know that Yoda's last wishes was to... For Luke to re-establish a Jedi Order. But we shall see what happened, more of what happens in The Last Jedi. Good! You are indeed powerful. Now finish him and take a father's side place at my side. No, I'll never turn to the dark side. I am a Jedi like my father before me. So be it. If you will not be turned, you will be destroyed. And now we are in the Emperor's Chamber to face off against Palpatine himself You could say it's time to avenge Mace Windu, Syndralic, and all these other Jedi Knights that died because of Palpatine. You can deflect the, the lightning attacks of, of the Emperor, but be careful. He's very powerful. And make sure also to pick up the Force power-ups so you can and heal and fill up and also use your force attack axe if you like against the emperor well while Darth Vader saw that Luke was being tortured that's when finally Vader her turned from the dark side and and through Palpatine I guess he also realized that that Palpatine, that Palpatine was responsible for Padme's death, and also all that's happened. And there goes Palpatine, but that doesn't mean completely th that the war is over. You should read Shattered Empire. Luke, help me take this mask off. But you will die. Nothing can stop that now. For once, let me look on you with my own eyes. Now go, my son. Tell your sister you were right about me. Okay, so now we are entering the core of the death. We are flying the Millennium Falcon. And in order to get to inside the core, so we can destroy the Death Star once and for all. I gotta say that doing all the Super Star Wars video games was a very fun ride. Also, what you gotta do also is roll over using the L and R button. And because you have to roll the right way so that way you can not hit yourself. Because you know the tunnels of the of the of the second death star are so cramped that 
that if you fly the wrong way, you're gonna hit yourself, and and that's not gonna be cool. I mean, you're gonna crash some parts of the ship. <laughs> You can also use a thermal grenade while, while shooting TIE Fighters, and also you can get a speed booster as well from them, so you can qu quickly go and get to the core. And also you can recover your shields as well, as well as energy. Also, you might see also an expanded storyline. Also, since Battlefront 2 has a, has a campaign main story arc, you'll learn what happens many years before the events of The Force Awakens on how Luke Skywalker went into seclusion and so on. And you can also upgrade your weapons by shooting, taking, th giving three or four shots at the same time. Getting in is the easy way, but getting out, that is a hard part in this, in this part of the game. Whoa. Thermal detonator. Also, I remember in Rogue Squadron that you gave, gave a, you wrote a password and then you could be able to fly the Millennium Falcon. Not to mention, also, you could be able to fly a TIE Interceptor. And also, there was a secret code in which you could unlock the Naboo Starfighter. I guess that with Rogue Squadron, they were trying to promote Episode 1 by adding the, the Naboo Starfighter. Remember, let the Y Wing take care of the yards. Oops, I was. Thought, thought I was. Sometimes I. Never mind. Okay, so here we go. We've got to hit the accelerators and escape quickly before the fire catches up with the Millennium Falcon! Well, this is gonna be the hard part, ladies and gentlemen, because I screw up a bunch of times in this one. But it's okay, I got 17 lives. I don't have to need to worry about it, but the first time I did this years ago, I was like, I was beyond furious because it gets so hard to get out. Well, getting in is the easy part, but getting out is a hard part. Okay, too bad there are no TIE Fighters to fight because you have to escape without shooting down the TIE Fighter and recovering shields and, and life and your or life bar. I guess the developers were smart in doing that so we can learn how to be more careful and how to, who, you know.
also since i'm playing this game i'm thinking about also reading once again but i already reviewed it the the video the comic book shattered empire because yeah it's in shattered empire you get to to see the parents of poe dameron that's right poe the hotshot pilot from the force awakens who helped who finn helped escape huh and a lot of people said about Finn and Poe, so began the biggest bromance in history. Although some people wish that, that that they want people want him as a couple, some people don't want him as a couple because you know, oh that's the kind of a uh, because that's like promoting tokenism and identity politics. Okay, yeah. My shields are down, and my health is down. <laughs> I truly screwed. I screwed up a bunch of times in this one. <laughs> Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Darn it. No. Let's try to get the hell out of here again. But I don't think like Finn and Poe are going to have a thing cuz I think that from the start in The Force Awakens it turned out that Finn had something for Ray. Well, J.J. Abrams did a good job with Star Wars. But it's the but his Star Trek I still kinda like better in a way. Ooh. But don't get me wrong, the Force Awakens was pretty awesome. Yeah, a lot of people hate it because it's a little bit too much like Episode 4. Yeah, The Force Awakens is much like Episode 4. Characters meet on a desert planet, become involved with a rebel faction against a political, military, oppressive government, and, and there's a Death Star, they destroy it, a mentor is killed, and you know the rest. Some people prefer Darth Vader over Kylo Ren, and I mean, I like Vader more than Ren, and in, in a lot of ways. But people and people say that uh, that Kylo Ren he's too emo. Oh, he was like the most emo Star Wars villain of the franchise. <laughs> the way those walls look like it's like if they're gonna close down. Darn it. Ain't cute. Okay, 
It seems like I'm almost out of there. Come on. Come on, I can do this. I can do this. Darn it. Come on, come on. Freaking walls. Talk about the most nerve-wracking part of the game. Whoa! No! Okay, this time, I'm gonna beat this. I am gonna beat this. Yes. Well... I gotta say that I just wanted to play all these Star Wars games just to to promote the movie and be prepared for it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and to those who watch my playthroughs, I really appreciate it. And remember to subscribe and and to follow me on Patreon and on social media as well. Hard to believe it's been over a year since I was work- Hard to believe that- that Since last year I've been working on video games in the world and Working on the episodes of season one Wow, just... Wow I'm also planning to make be better episodes as well, you know. Now, for season one of it, uh, of my web series, the episode I I had a great time writing the episodes. Video games and religion was a really, really painful episode to do. Who, since me being a, a non-denominational and all that, you know. My, the episodes that I really enjoyed writing were about women in video games, LGBT characters in video games, and also debunking and correcting. Not to mention, I had a lot of, I had a great time doing the Resident Evil episode, and now we're getting out of this. I can make it, I can make it, I can make it. Yes! Yeah! All right. And now we celebrate. The empire has been defeated, but from the ashes of the empire comes the First Order. In the Disney canon, of course. Congratulations, Jedi. You have destroyed the new Death Star and defeated the Emperor. This day will be remembered for eternity as the day you save the galaxy from evil. Now as it was before the Empire, peace will ring again. Yeah, it will, but but from the ashes of the of the empire, the first order. So remember, comment, subscribe and share gamers. Later.